Right, so in this video we are going to consider a simply supported beam of length L with a UDL act on it, which is W. Um, which will have the units of kilonewton per meter. And so, so the length is in meters. So we will get two reactions. We'll get one at this support and we'll get one at this support. Now as the load is evenly um, spread over the length of the beam, the reaction at the first support at A and the reaction at the second support B will be equal to each other. And in this case, they are going to be equal to WL over 2. And once you have that, you can come down here and draw the shear force diagram. So the shear force diagram, diagram that's the zero line. So we've got our reactions here. And so our first point here will be WL over 2. And our last point here will be minus WL over 2. And because it is a UDL, you're going to get a triangular shaped shear force diagram. So Right, um, so then once you've got that, you can then draw your bending moment diagram. Now we know for a UDL that a bending moment diagram is going to be a curve with a peak again in the centre because it is a evenly spread load. So to find out the um, value of the bending moment at its peak, which is down here, we can use the equation m is equal to wl squared over 8. Um, and again, that is just something that you can remember. Or you can make use of the um, shear force diagram. So the area under this shear force diagram is equal to the moment at that point. So in this case, we will have a half, because it's a triangle, times by WL over 2 um, for the force, times by L over 2 for the length, which in total will give us WL squared over 8. So you can either remember this, or if you can get your shear forces, you can get your moments. It's quite simple. And then the final part of the puzzle will be the deflection. So the deflected shape we'll expect to see for a system like this would be something similar to the bending moment diagram with the maximum deflection delta being in the center of the beam. Now for the deflection equation for this type of loading situation is WL to the 4, 5WL to the 4 over 384EI. And W is in kilonewton per meter. L is in meters. E is normally given in newtons per millimeter squared. And I, the second moment area, is normally given in centimeters to the four. Now to avoid having to convert all those units and mess around trying to swap things into kilonewtons into newtons, if you just multiply this equation by 10 to the five, that will give you your deflection in millimetres, which is normally the value you need. Um, so that is that. That is the equations you need for 
a UDL on a simply supported beam. And thanks for watching.